Do you remember a few years ago when our Congress got mad at France and banned French fries in the House of Representatives cafeteria? We Americans always have had a love-hate relationship with the French, which was why it was so galling last month when the Democratic Congress passed a budget with such big deficits that it makes the United States literally ineligible to join France in the European Union. Now, of course, we don't want to be in the European Union. We're the United States of America. But French deficits are lower than ours, and their president has been running around sounding like a Republican, lecturing our president about spending so much. Now the debate in Congress is shifting to the size of your electric and gasoline bills and to climate change. So guess who has one of the lowest electric rates in Western Europe and the second lowest carbon emissions in the entire European Union? It's France again. And what's more, they're doing it with a technology we invented and have been reluctant to use, nuclear power. 30 years ago, the contrary French became reliant on nuclear power when others wouldn't. Today, nuclear plants provide 80% of their electricity. They even sell electricity to Germany, whose politicians built windmills and solar panels and promised not to build nuclear plants, which was exactly the attitude in the United States between 1979 and 2008 when not one new nuclear plant was built. Still, nuclear, which supplies just 20% of all U.S. electricity, provides 70% of our pollution-free electricity. So you'd think that if Democrats want to talk about energy and climate change and clean air, they'd put American-made nuclear power front and center. Instead, their answer is billions in subsidies for renewable energy from the sun, the wind, and the earth.